All right, we've been getting a lot of questions about how the proper way to rig the Monster 3X shrimp and X swim is on the on the bullhead jig. Now, this would be the bullhead jig. It has no collar, nothing there to push the bait up past. Uh, a lot of people kind of wonder how it stays on. We're going to show you that here in just a second. We also have a standard poison tail jig. It does have the collar. Uh, if you get it pushed up past that collar, it's never going to slide down. So we really like this for not for lure not being able to pull down, but it is a lot tougher to rig up. Uh, but we're going to show you both ways to do it, and hopefully this will answer any questions. We'll start with the easy one, the regular bullhead jig. You have your shrimp, and you'll see where the shrimp is the first segment. The shrimp kind of comes up and it kicks up. So there's essentially a first segment, a second segment right here. Now you're going to bring the hook point out halfway through this middle segment. I'll show you how we do that. Straight in through the nose. Push it down. And you're going to come up right through the back. So you can see where that hook point's coming up about halfway through that second segment. Push it on around. And there you go, you got a perfectly rigged Monster 3X shrimp. Uh, this is the small shrimp uh, that we're using this on. And you can see that even with no, no collar on this jig head, it's not sliding down. I mean, I can pull and pull and pull and pull and pull that much, and it finally slid down just a little bit. Now, the beauty of using the bullhead jig is once this bait gets worn to the point where it's wanting, where it is wanting to slide down. If it's not, if the tail's not beat up, and nothing's torn on it, you can move right over. To the regular poison tail jig that has the collar, and since you've had it on the bullhead jig already, it's going to make it a lot easier to rig up. So you can just take it and slide it, come right up through the same hole, come right up through the same hole that you had the bullhead jig on. Now, here's where it gets tricky if you just try to push it up on there, it ain't going to go all the way on, you're going to have to push it and kind of work it back and forth. And you can see how tight how tight that goes on even after being rigged on a jig head already. So you get it all pushed up on there good. And even though you've already had it on a bullhead jig, when it gets worn out and won't stay on, you change it over to a regular poison tail or the scorpion jig and now it's really locked in. And you see how hard I'm pulling that. And it didn't pull off the collar at all. So, if you can get it rigged up on there, that's great because it's going to stay on there forever. Um, we like rigging it on the bullhead jig. Just because if you're on the water and your hands are wet and you're trying to re-rig, uh, it's a lot easier to do than fighting with trying to get it over the collar. What we'll do, like I said, is we'll switch to the regular, regular style jig after we've had it on the bullhead jig for a while. So you're really getting a lot of use out of one bait. That's one thing we really like about Monster 3X. Um, they're so durable that even after catching 20, 30 fish on it, if it gets to the point of sliding down, no big deal. Switch it over, uh, put it on a standard jig head, and keep using it. Um, I want to show you on the X swim. The X swim is actually easier to rig up than the shrimp, and that's because on the back, and it's going to be hard to see on the video, but on the back of the X swim, it's stamped 3X. So. If you just insert your jig head right in the center, put that hook point right through the middle, slide it down, and if you come up, 
right where the X is, come up right in the center of the X. You're going to be able to push that down. And you're going to be rigged up perfect. So that's the small X swim. Um, I've been using this bait a lot, throwing under docks. Um, both of them are super, super good baits. And even there, now I was a, I just rigged this one up. It hasn't been on a jig head before. And even then, I mean, it's not, it's not pulling down. You know, if a jack or a ladyfish grabs it and, and swipes at it or grabs the tail, they can pull on that thing all day, and it's not going anywhere. And even at that, all that pulling, it's still not slid down the jig head. So. I know some people have had reservations about using the bullhead jig because it doesn't have a collar. It's a little bit different. Um, uh, I've never seen anybody rig a soft plastic on a jig head with no collar, but I'm telling you, uh, it makes them easy to rig. They work great, and you can get actually twice the life out of it once it starts to slide down by putting it on a standard jig head. So I hope that answers any questions anybody might have about the proper way to rig them up. Um, Here's a Slim Shad that we have rigged up. Same deal with it. Um, you know, we have it rigged on the on the bullhead jig. Um, this Slim Shad has caught four or five snook already for us at night under the docks, and it's still it's still ready to go. So, thanks for watching. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can get a hold of us. You can email me, David, at TreasureCoastTackle.com. You can get a hold of us on Instagram. We're at Treasure Coast Tackle, uh, and we're also on Facebook, Treasure Coast Tackle. Thanks.